Welcome to Google Cloud. Today we'll present a demonstration of the mainframe assessment tool, which is designed to assist customers in analyzing their mainframe applications. The mainframe assessment tool, or MAT, enables the automated analysis of legacy applications, thereby supporting customers in starting their migration journey. MAT facilitates the provision of a comprehensive overview of all assets, encompassing call dependencies, CRUD analysis, and even generative AI integration, leveraging Google's world-leading AI infrastructure. In this video, we will guide you through a fundamental scenario involving the upload of a legacy application, the initiation of discovery phase, and the presentation of a dashboard that visualizes the results. Additionally, we'll demonstrate various examples of COBOL program analysis utilizing Vertex AI. Upon initializing the mainframe assessment tool, users are provided with the opportunity to upload a zip file containing mainframe source code. The user is capable of assigning a specific name to the assessment and subsequently initiating the discovery phase. During this phase, all artifacts are evaluated while at the same time showing the overall status in the user interface. If the user has activated experimental AI analysis, each COBOL program will be evaluated in the background. Now that the discovery phase has been completed, we can take a look at the dashboard. The dashboard has different tabs, each visualizing different charts for different metrics. First, basic metrics are provided per language and per source type, like the number of sources, the number of lines of code, and the number of comment lines. Additionally, there's a tab that displays the complexity of each COBOL program, which is determined by cyclomatic complexity, a metric that represents the quantity of possible execution paths within a program. This metric serves as a valuable indicator for estimating the number of necessary test scenarios. The subsequent chart displays a graph that represents the relationship between various modules. Dependencies present in COBOL are made visual, which can sometimes lead to the creation of large-scale graphs. This specific graph places emphasis on those COBOL modules that are most frequently called. The CRUD table illustrates the input and output actions of each COBOL program on the file. Additionally, MAP provides a method for categorizing an application into smaller subcomponents called functional groups. Metrics are derived for each subcomponent and the interdependencies are visualized in a graph. The mainframe assessment tool brings the strength of generative AI offered by Google through Vertex AI to the mainframe. It addresses the challenges of undocumented mainframe programs and the absence of original programmers, which renders these systems difficult to comprehend and maintain. Generative AI provides a solution to this problem. MAT seamlessly integrates with Vertex AI to perform thorough analysis of COBOL programs. An advanced algorithm is employed for each COBOL program, generating comprehensive summaries, even for the extensive programs consisting of thousands of lines of code. The generated summary utilizes hyperlinks to facilitate navigation to subsections of the program, each of which possesses its own summary. Another noteworthy feature is the generation of test scenarios alongside the summary. Each generated test case encompasses a description and corresponding expected output expressed in COBOL. This capability not only assists mainframe developers in enhancing the test coverage of their existing programs, but also provides substantial support during the migration process by facilitating the creation of test cases for migrated programs. Given that legacy programs frequently lack comprehensive test scenarios, this feature plays a crucial role in addressing this deficiency. So that wraps up our MAT demo. In this demo, you saw how MAT can be used to analyze mainframe applications. Thank you, and we're looking forward to demonstrating to you more modernization solutions made by the migration team.